Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the proof of this theorem. It theorem is if the metric space is compact, it is sequentially compact also. So before starting the proof, let us recall those concept. When we say the metric space is compact and when we say it is sequentially compact, let me write here. Compact metric space. Compact metric space means every open cover. Has finite subcover. So if you, when we say the matrix space is uh, compact, if every open cover of X has a finite subcover, then we say it is a compact matrix space. And when we say it is sequentially compact, do you remember when we say it is sequentially compact? If every sequence has convergent subsequence, then we say it is sequentially compact. Every sequence has convergent subsequence. So here the given part is the matrix space is compact. That means this is the given part. And what we have to prove, we have to prove that it is sequentially compact. That means this thing we have to prove. So let us start with the given information. Okay. So let me consider a matrix space here, which is compact. Let XD be a compact matrix space. So I'm assuming a compact matrix space and I have to prove that it is sequentially compact. See in previous video, I have already proved that if the matrix space is compact, it has BWP. So therefore implies X has BWP. This part already we have proved. So that's why I'm not writing the proof here again, but actually the proof is required here. Okay. So we should write proof is required. But see, I have, we have already proved it in previous video. So that's why uh, you can directly watch that video and you can write the proof. See, if X has BWP, then it is sequentially compact. This part also we have done in our previous video. So let me write directly implies X is sequentially compact. X is sequentially compact. Okay, this thing also we have done in our videos. So let me mention here the proof is required. That means that proof you should write here. Proof is required. Okay, so in this way, we started with a compact matrix space and finally we got it is a sequentially compact. That means simply we have to add these two proofs here. We will have the required proof of this theorem. Okay, so proof of these two results I'm going to uh, add here in the description so you can watch those videos and you can complete its proof okay so we'll stop here thank you meet you in next lecture